Hey guys, how's it going? It's Money Menu with HTXCV coming at you. And got some awesome news. There was some really cool stuff happening on the weekend. And um, t yeah, there's first of all, um, people on social medias are pump pumping up Dogecoin. And also, um, they're talking about um, um, Ripple, Ripple possibly. Um, on Reddit, they're talking about. Maybe they're looking at pumping up that. Yep, lots of cool stuff. So um, here we go. So today, uh, Bitcoin right now is at thirty-three thousand eight hundred twenty dollars. So it's up four percent. Definitely. Um, I also I was going to let you guys know. Um, I did I did purchase some Dogecoin this weekend, and I purchased some Ripple as well. So. FYI, just let you know what I did, um, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, just like I said, if anything you do, you're definitely on your own. You know, I'm not your financial advisor, but I am definitely giving you um, tips and tricks to possibly have a better future financially. So, all right, um, back off my soapbox. Let's get back to it. Um, Ethereum is at uh, thirteen hundred and thirty-six dollars, and that's a plus two percent increase in the green. Uh, Litecoin's at $130 plus 4%. Um, Ripple actually is um, a little bit down from yesterday. It's at $0.42 cents right now. Um, Bitcoin Cash is at $410. Um, and that's plus 3%. And EOS is also at $2.98. And they're up 3%. So pretty much a lot of the coins are kind of mirroring Bitcoin. Um... But yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> I've been paying attention to what's going on. And last night, I'm not sure if you guys um, heard of it, but um, Elon Musk actually had um, like an interview, a live interview with some other people. He actually, um, through Clubhouse, um, um, I guess it's like a podcast type app thing. <clears throat> and he was saying that, um, talking about, um, you know, how he was asking questions. Yeah, so they started going back and forth. Um, Elon Musk wasn't bashful at all. He's uh, um, asking him straightforward questions. Yeah, one of the questions he asked him was, "Hey, we're we all being kind of shady. It seemed it seemed a little shady." Um, I think his name was Brad, the guy, CEO of Robinhood, who said that he got a call at like 3 a.m. in the morning that um, they needed to short or something, give him like three billion dollars. Or something like that, or they were three billion dollars behind, uh, something like that. Um, I know I'm not saying the perfect details of it, but um, I, I listened to it twice last night. It was live, and then I also listened to a couple um, other guys' recordings just to kind of like <clears throat> get the gist of it. And um, he basically just danced around the questions, which is like, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, he he even asked um, um, Brat, the CEO, if from Robinhood, if you know, are you protecting people? What's going on? <clears throat> also, other cool stuff in the interview. Um, one thing he did say about Dogecoin was he said he said that he thinks Dogecoin is going to be the future currency of Earth. Which I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I, I purchased some, so um, definitely. Um, right now, um, I'm going to go also to a small. Um, I'm going to read a quick article. Actually, you know what? Let's go into Dogecoin. So, here we go. All right. So right now, Dogecoin is at a little over three cents, like three and a half cents. Um, so, yeah, it's it showed how it went up um, this last week, and then it it went back down to like two cents, and now it's at uh, three cents. But they're <clears throat> from a lot of the social medias, even on TikTok, they're talking about this thing. Possibly because it's being hyped. It's technically a meme coin. You know, some people say, oh, it's worthless. And then at the end of the day, one thing I did notice on the Elon Musk interview is he said he was saying that there was this one company that they were it was started off as a joke. And now it's a full blown company. And he kind of said the same thing about Dogecoin. He said, contrary to what everybody says, it, it was kind of started off as a joke. But he says, who knows what it could do in the future? So. If he's talking about it, at the end of the day, one thing I've learned, when billionaires talk, you listen. Unless you're a billionaire, 
I mean, they probably still listen anyways, so, right, so, but, uh, yeah, so the chart here is looking pretty good, um, some people were saying, you know, if they stop mining the coin, that would probably help, <clears throat> but it's, they're also saying that you, one thing with, one good thing with, um, Dogecoin is that it can produce tons of transactions, um, definitely a lot, um, real fast, so, definitely looking to check that out, so, just wanted to let you guys know, so let's get into one of the articles. Here we go. Yep, and I sure knew it. Um, one of the expert articles is saying, talking about Elon Musk. He did also did chat about Bitcoin, um, how, saying how it's on the verge of seeing a broader acceptance by finance in general. <clears throat> Bitcoin is about to see broader adoption in the traditional finance world, says the ri um, richest man in the world. <clears throat> Bitcoin is on the verge of seeing broader acceptance. Um, yeah, in the Clubhouse interview let, that I was letting you guys know about, <clears throat> it's an audio chat, a social media platform, which I already went over that with you guys. <clears throat> During the conversation, let's see what they recap on this. Um, I know my, I didn't take any notes, but I, I'm pretty good at remembering things. And I did listen to it at least a couple times, but let's see what this guy says. He says, um, during the conversation with um, um, Andresen Horowitz and other prominent investors, Musk was asked about his thoughts on Bitcoin, which I kind of already told you about Dogecoin, so let's see what he says about Bitcoin. On January 29th, Musk uh, put the word Bitcoin in his Twitter bio, causing the price of Bitcoin to rally by more than 14% in 30 minutes. After the occurrence, Bitcoin investors and enthusiasts were highly anticipating positive comments about crypto in general from, from Musk or Elon. When asked about Bitcoin, Musk said, according to the industry executives who were able to listen to the chat, he said, I do think Bitcoin is a good thing. I'm a supporter of Bitcoin. I think uh, it is on the verge of getting broad acceptance by conventional finance. Here and it says industry executives are generally positive about Musk's comment on Bitcoin. James uh, Tadar, a partner at Gray Matter Capital, said one of the most forward thinking investors of our age missed Bitcoin on Clubhouse just now. Um, Elon Musk tells us of a friend who gave him a cake in the shape of a Bitcoin back in 2013. Despite being late to the party, Elon thinks Bitcoin is on the verge of acceptance. <clears throat> Dan Tapirio, a partner at Ten Tenty Holdings, shared a similar sentiment. He said that the richest man in the world being a Bitcoin supporter feels good, Tapero wrote. Yeah, here it says, somehow it feels feels good that Elon Musk, a Bitcoin supporter um, near my age, is the, is the richest man in the world, was getting tired of um, Gates, Buffett, Bezos, older guys in old tech or no tech, not Bitcoiners, with an iron cast and a visionary of example of there is no hope for Gen Z. Um, as um, Cointelegraph reported, prominent Bitcoin investors such as billion billionaire Tim Draper have been asking Musk and his businesses such as Tesla to accept Bitcoin directly, which would give Bitcoin a massive boost in global awareness. So, yeah, that was pretty much huge. Um, pr that was huge. Awesome. Um, definitely check it out. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually upload it. I'm not sure if it's considered copyrighted or anything like that. I'm just going to lay off that one. But, but yeah, it was definitely check it out. Um, they're saying at the very end of the conversation, they asked him if he wanted to come back. And so the, he said, yeah, he'd definitely come back. So the, they'll probably be having these chats. Um, it was on a Sunday evening. So definitely good stuff. And <clears throat> at the end of the day, um, I believe, in my opinion, I believe that Musk, along with the, you know, the guys on the Reddit, are kind of starting a little movement here. You know, at the end of the day, you can't always trust it, but like I said, do your own due, due diligence. You know, before you do any investments, you know, check, research stuff for yourself. Just d don't just go by what they say on a Reddit or, you know, any of those, you know, any of those apps. Don't just go by what they say. Check out the coin coin market cap, you know, if there's, you know, 
check around, get a few a couple opinions, um, do really good research. You know, check out the white papers of the cryptocurrencies. I know um, Card um, Cardano and Stellar are in the top 10. You know, they're looking pretty good. They were like in the 30 to 40 cents. Still, st in my opinion, still good investments because they're low. And you don't necessarily right now have to put put a lot of money into it um, to get a good return. You could throw a couple hundred bucks and have a, either a couple hundred shares or a thousand shares before it hits a dollar. So definitely check those out. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. So definitely check um, check out Dogecoin, Ripple. Ripple, we'll see what, what happens to Ripple later this